Oh, here we go. There's a fish. Oh, this is feeling big. Oh, those are some big head shakes. Nice. Good morning, fish shales. It is dark, early, and cold here in late November. And we're gonna be trolling some sweet little Joe Lure crankbaits here this morning to try to find some fish while we're casting some musky Mike Fly hair jigs. So between all these baits and a few more that I might throw at them, we're gonna hope to catch some cold water fish here, some steelhead, maybe some brown trout. The trolling rigs I got today are from the reel shot up in Appleton. So we got the, the line, the rod, the reels all from TRS. So check out the link in the description. In the meantime, let's get this thing in the water and see if we can catch some fish. Well, there she is, waiting to go out. Let's load her up and we are ready to go. Just letting out my little Joe Lure crankbaits right now have such great UV paint on there and no need for any UV stickers on this thing. It's super bright in the water, whether it's light conditions or low light conditions. So using my Lexa line counter here and just gonna put out about maybe 40 to 50 feet of line out. These ones are eight to 10 feet divers. I have some deeper crankbaits on the other one that's gonna go down to about 15 to 20 if you let out you know, quite a bit of line, maybe 50, 60 feet. So we'll see what depth they're gonna be at and what they're looking for. But when I get the first fish on it, we'll get a better look at that paint job. One, ready to go. And number two, again, just a sweet color. Look at the belly colors on there. Tons of layers of paint and UV coats, high quality hooks. Let's see if we can dive this one a little deeper here and see what they want. Put my glove on because it is cooled out. 22 degrees this morning, but hopefully it gets these fish moving. They are cold water fish. Not fishing for bass today. Oh, we got some ice. Just as I said, 22 degrees. We hit a little patch of ice. All right, it is too icy as you could hear going through this ice in the marina. Tried it for about an hour, sun's up. And uh, not a bite, not a hit. So we're gonna go out into the harbor, out of this marina area. Hopefully we find less ice and more fish. We're just hooking up ice right now and that's, that's not what I came to catch. Oh, there we go. First fish. There we go. Right off those rocks. Nice. We are definitely hooked up. All right, one line in. And he took the little Joe Lure UV crankbait. Ooh, and that's a nice brownie. Looks like a mama brown. Just a beautiful late November morning here. Come on. <laughs> In the net. Oh. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Fish number one this morning. Sun's about an hour past sunrise. All right, fish number one, little Joe Lure. Get a little closer look at this. Standard flicker shad goes down about eight to 12 feet, depending on how much line you got out. And that paint is, uh, I think, what's doing the job. Let's take a look at that brown trout here before we let it go. Beautiful looking fish. And there it is. Beautiful mama brown. I think there's some bigger ones in here. Let's see if we can catch another. Sweet. Here we go. Here we go. And we got one. Just was when I was least expecting it. I thought, all right, let me switch cameras. I'm not going to get a fish here. It's been about 15 minutes without a hit. And there it is. <laughs> Almost 
fighting like a smallmouth. There we go. You put up a pretty good fight for the size, that is for sure. <laughs> there he is, thought he was a smallmouth, maybe one and a half pounder, but uh, you know, put up a fight like a good five to six pounder for sure. All right, the sun's been up for about an hour, hour and a half. We got little Joe Lures on both rods here on the Kuma Deadeye Pros from Real Shot and Lexa 300s on each one with a line counter just to get a sense of how far back I am and how deep the lure's running. Got Musky Mike Fly Hair Jig on, just casting up ahead of the boat. And got a beautiful morning here, so hoping to catch some trolling or casting or both. Trolling at about two miles an hour right now. I might float between two and a half and two and see if these fish are biting with a certain aggression. They like it slower today or faster. But hopefully they like it one way or another. Otherwise, this is gonna be a pretty boring day. Oh, here we go. There's a fish. Oh, this is feeling big. Oh, those are some big head shakes. Nice. Don't say he got off. Come on. Coming towards the boat. He got off. Oh man, I just was so slow getting the slack picked up and those are some big head shakes. I knew I was gonna lose one today. Hopefully I don't lose any more, but took that little Joe Lure again. Nice little contour on it, flicker shad style. Beautiful colors. Dang it, that was a big one. Oh, here we go, there's a fish. There's a fish. Come on. Oh, he got off. What was going 2.2 miles? I sped up to get that hook set. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay, fish. Seriously, you're that easy to unhook today? They must be just nipping at the back of it. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Come on. Oh, jeez. Smashed it. Got off in what? Three seconds. All right. There we go. That's a fish, come on. I think we got a good hook set now. Finally, another hook up where it's not coming off right away. All right. That's it. Don't tell me he got off. Is he still on? It's hard to say. Oh, we got him. Man, could not tell for a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, partly because he's not the uh, world's largest, but he wants to get off, that's for sure. And we got him. And we got him. And he took, it's about even right now on the little Joe Lures, on the two colors. We got that other nice chrome color, and then this one's got that little orange and green and all sorts of stuff in that one. All right, Brownie. They're here and they're hungry. Oh, let's let this little guy out of the net here and see what we got. Another fish on the troll of Little Joe Lures. Beautiful little brown. And he gave me a little tussle on that uh, Dead Eye Pro Akuma rod from the Real Shot. And the Lexa 300 did the job too. No problem on this little guy. Let's let him get back in the water. Going back in. 